the bag. Who is going to show us? I, I have to pick someone. Otherwise, it's going to get chaotic. I'll let you off this one time. Wow, you're on stage now. Look at all the lights up there. If you turn around, you can see the audience. Those people up there. So they're all waving at me. Should we wave back? Do you wave back? Do you want to move your feet as well? Do you want to see your head? Okay, what's your name, young man? Ethan. Ethan. Okay, Ethan. Can you reach in there, Ethan? See if you can find something in there. Ethan, do you know what that is? Is it a shoe? <laughs> it is a shoe. It's got a special name. Let's see if anybody in the audience knows what it's called. Hands up if you know what this is. We see the lady there, look. Ethan, who thinks she knows? What is it? Uh, an ice skate. Well done. Ethan, she got the right answer. So we give her a clap. <laughs> Very good. Now, Ethan. Everyone's going to clap you now as you go and sit back down. Okay, so this is an ice skate. This is a very difficult question now. Does anybody know what I might play that is something to do with an ice skate? And we, what we're going to do, we're going to have a hands up. We're going to have a hands up. Hands up if you think you know the young man there. Ice! A piece called ice. Good. That's a good suggestion. A good suggest it's a very difficult question, actually. So, so I'm just going to take a couple of, see if you can be creative. What do you think? Skate on the ice. You think I'm going to skate on the ice? It's my skate on the ice, Mark. It's very difficult to do when you haven't got ice. Um, so, I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you a story now. I'm going to tell you a story. Now, a story, because it's a very hard question. The story is about a little, well, a couple of people who lived in the country that I'm from. So England, I come from a country called England. Hands up if you've heard of England. Yeah, a few of you, right. Um, in England, there were a couple of people called Jane and Christopher. Many years ago, Jane and Christopher used to dance, I don't know if you still do, I think, dance on ice. They did a beautiful dance, but they used to dance on ice. And they used to wear those, they used to wear ice skates. And they used to do this beautiful dance together on the ice. And they were quite good at it. So they thought they'd go in for a competition. So they went in for a competition called the Olympics. Hands up if you've heard of the Olympics. Oh, okay, very good. The Olympics the biggest competition in the world. So they went in for the Olympics and competed and they won. They won a gold medal. But not only did they win a gold medal, they got the highest score I think ice dancers have ever got. The top score you can get in ice dancing is 6.0. And 10 of the judges gave them 6.0. That means that they're pretty much the best ice dancers of all time. When they did their dance, their famous dance, they danced to a piece of music. And that piece of music is called the Bolero. Can we all say Bolero? Bolero. Very famous, beautiful piece. I'm going to play it for you now. And it starts, it starts very quietly, a bit like a sailor's hornpipe. It starts like this. So just a rhythm. And that rhythm keeps going all the way through the piece, even when the tune is played. But today it's only me. I can't do the rhythm out of tune. <laughs> I can only play one thing at a time. So I need your help. Do you think you can help me? Do you think you can do the rhythm? Now, there's a very special way we do this. <coughs> can everybody hold up two fingers? One finger in each hand. Very good, very nice, very nice. Can you see your knees? <laughs> now, you're going to be drummers. Your fingers are going to be the drumsticks. And your knees are going to be the drums. Okay? So we're going to use one finger on each knee, and you're going to try and do this rhythm. It's quite a difficult rhythm. So you have to listen very carefully, see if you can do it. Very nice. Very nice. And then I'm going to play the tune at the top. So you have to keep going with the rhythm. Here we go. 